Today, we're talking about Tia Style Kiss. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me. This time, I'm going to be talking about Tia Style Kiss. Not to be confused with the more recently released Tia Style RHA Kiss. Hmm. Yes, I know that is a little bit complicated, but basically they have two different products which have the same name from the same company. So the TSL Kiss is a one mil syringe of hyaluronic acid, which is cross-linked with 25 milligrams per mil of hyaluronic acid. The TSL RHA Kiss is 0 0.7 mils, so a little bit less and it's the TSL RHA, which is a different method of cross-linking to the TSL KISS. So the KISS is more of a legacy product, the RHA KISS is the new version, very much in the way that, you know, you've got the Juvederm with the Hylocross and the Vicross. So as the name would imply, the KISS is designed for use in the lip. It does contain a rather large amount of hyaluronic acid at 25 milligrams per mil, and 8% of that is cross-linked. So it's a very robust product. I would compare it in handling to Juvederm Ultra 3 because they're both very similar. If you compare it to Tioxane's RHA range or Juvederm's Vicross range, they feel different. So the KISS tends to be used mainly when you want to create a lot of projection. Of course, you can use it in other areas, but I would tend to reserve it mainly for patients who want to have a lot more fullness in the lip and they don't mind maybe having more projection there too. It, it just depends on what kind of result it is that you're trying to create. So in the same way that with the Juvederm Ultra 3, you can, um, you can kind of really sculpt the lip well because the product stays where you put it. Kiss will do that as well. In terms of longevity, probably doesn't last as long as the RHA range. In my experience, maybe six months would be about right for an injection in the lip. Like the rest of the range, it also contains 0.3% of lignocaine, uh, which makes the experience a little bit more comfortable, but they do supply it with a 27 gauge needle, which in my opinion is way too thick. So I like to swap that out for a 30 gauge because it's a lot more comfortable to have the injections done that way. Okay guys, so that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've ever tried to sell Kiss, let me know in the comments section below. Join me again here next week where I'm going to be talking about a completely different type of products. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you liked it. I'll see you later.